Hi beautiful souls, welcome back. Or if you are new to the channel, my name is Cade. And before we get started with today's brand new video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to today's video sponsor, Keen. If you're not sure what Keen is, Keen is an online um, service that provides you with access to vetted psychics and spiritual advisors that can give you advice on absolutely anything that you wanna ask about. You can ask about love, career, um, you know, business, any kind of question like that. I've had multiple readings on Keen and I just want to say that I've gained so much clarity and just felt so much better after getting a reading on Keen. One of my favorite things about Keen is, um, it's available 24 seven. So whenever you need a psychic reading, you're going to be able to get a psychic reading. Um, whether it be really, really early in the morning, really, really late at night, or just in the middle of the day, whenever you need guidance, Keen is available. As a new Keen customer, guys, you will get your first 10 minutes for only $1.99 by clicking the link pinned in my comment section or by clicking the link in my description box. And I'm also going to put the link up on the screen. Um, and let me just tell you guys, the sign up process is literally so easy. Like all you have to do is click on the link, click get started, answer a few simple questions, and then a list of spiritual advisors are going to come up for you. Also guys, Keen is one of the most affordable ways to get a psychic reading. What I love about Keen is there are so many different spiritual advisors to choose from and each spiritual advisor charges a different price. So you're really going to be able to find an advisor that works for you and what you're willing to spend on a psychic reading. And once you find a spiritual advisor on Keen that works for you, you can keep going back to the same one. That way you can build an ongoing relationship with your advisor. Also guys, once you sign up for Keen, make sure to check your emails because Keen sends out weekly discount codes. That way you can get a more affordable psychic reading. As I said, guys, I've gotten multiple readings on Keen and every reading has given me a lot of guidance. It's given me a lot of clarity. And so if that's what you're looking for, um, be sure to check out the link in the description box or check out the link pinned in my comment section. Thank you so much, Keen, for sponsoring today's video. And we're going to go ahead and jump into the pick a card reading. Okay, so beautiful souls, now we are going to jump right into today's brand new video. I'm really, really excited about today's video. I think we're going to get a lot of amazing messages. We're going to be doing urgent messages from the universe, from your ancestors, from your spirit guides. Whoever wants to be here today, whoever wants to give you a message is kind of what we're going to be doing, but I'm kind of more focusing this around urgent messages. So what you need to hear right now. Um, so these may kind of be like quick little messages that spirit brings through, I'm not sure. You guys know me, we just listen to spirit and bring through the message that um, they want to communicate. Um, before we get started, guys, make sure to follow me on Instagram. It is at Cade Conrad. It is going to be linked down below. And also make sure to check me out on TikTok. I'm doing like mini tarot readings over there. So make sure to check out my TikTok as well. It's going to be linked down below. If you're new here, guys, consider subscribing and joining the spiritual family. And also make sure to um, click the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. So, um... For you guys that are new here, I am a psychic medium, so the way I kind of do my readings is I use a combination of my intuition and tarot cards to bring through the most clear and accurate message to you guys. Um, today we have four different piles to choose from, so go ahead right now and take a moment to take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out and just go ahead and ground your energy. So I have four different crystals that we are going to be choosing from today. Um, what I'm going to do first is just show you each crystal individually and then I'm going to pop up a video of all the crystals laid out just so that gives you guys a closer look at each individual crystal and gives you guys some time to pick your um, pile. So pile one is going to be this selenite tower. This is gonna be pile one or group one. Pile two is going to be this crystal right here. I think it is, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's this gorgeous crystal right here. It's gonna be pile two. Pile number three, guys, is going to be the citrine. So this is gonna be pile number three. And um, pile number four is going to be this celestite crystal cluster. Wow. 
Okay, beautiful. Now, just take a moment, guys, to choose your pile. Meditate, take as much time as you need. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and jump into pile one, the selenite tower. Um, and I will see the rest of you beautiful souls at your pile. Hi beautiful souls that chose pile one, or if you chose group one, if you chose this selenite tower right here, um, super excited about today's reading. We're just going to be getting urgent messages from spirit or the universe, your ancestors, um, anyone that wants to communicate with you today or any kind of energy that wants to come through is kind of the intention that I'm setting for this reading. So I'm going to be using two different tarot decks to kind of bring through the messages today. And I also have an oracle deck as well. And um, of course, I will be getting channeled messages um, and using my intuition. So what do we want to start with, Spirit? I think we want to start with this deck right here. So um, I'm going to just be seeing urgent messages for pile one. What does pile one need to know? Okay. Spirit just basically explains to me that it's like you're stopping yourself from doing something or like I'm hearing there's like a huge initiation coming up in your life. There's like this big buildup of energy. There's something very big that's about to happen. For some of you, it feels like a leap of faith, but it's like I'm hearing you don't trust yourself enough. So it's like I almost want to say that there's going to be this big opportunity that comes your way. And this could be around money or school or just it feels like there's like a big opportunity. But for some of you, I'm getting like it either requires you to put yourself out there in a very bold way or it may take some sort of risk. Um, you may have to take some sort of risk to some degree. I'm hearing you're liable. Some of you are afraid to take this risk because if it fails, I'm hearing like you're liable. So I don't know if this is around like money, like maybe it takes like this big investment, but if the investment fails, then it's like it comes back on you is what I'm wanting to say. Or it just feels like there's a lot of responsibility around this maybe as well. Because when I hear you're liable, it feels like it's all on you, but and it's like I'm seeing like it could go two different ways. There's like it could go really, really good. And then you're also thinking, well, it could go really, really bad and fail. Okay. I'm also hearing the name Daphne. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm also hearing the song, I'm leaving tomorrow. What do you say? It's like I almost want to say that maybe some of you don't feel accepted right now by the people around you. And this could be like a very big move or um, it's you may have to even leave something that you're currently at to go to some somewhere else. I'm also hearing some of you may have to leave who you're currently with. Maybe you're in a relationship right now to go be with someone else. Um, I'm hearing you're dating someone else. So I'm also getting this situation where I'm seeing you leave someone from your past to start dating this new person but maybe this involves like a lot of risk taking for in some way, shape or form for you guys, or maybe you've been super scared about doing it. So um, let's take a look at the tarot as well. So spirit, can we get urgent messages for pile one? Admiration. A lot of people look up to you guys. Um, I'm not sure like what you do for a living, but I am getting that a lot of people look up to you. We have the Queen of Wands. So what I'm getting with this Queen of Wands energy in the reverse is a lot of what other people see within you, you may struggle to see within yourself. And so Spirit wants you to recognize a little bit of what these people are seeing. I think you don't give yourself as much credit maybe as other people give you is what I'm kind of wanting to say. Like, I almost want to say that some of you may have a following or you just really have this energy about you where you light people up. Um, I think you're very inspiring, very creative, very bold, but I'm not sure if like maybe some of you are kind of doubting this within yourself or you don't see this within yourself. I'm hearing some of you are doubting that you have superpowers. So... 
what I'm kind of getting is maybe some of you are doubting that you're special or you're doubting that you're magical. We also have the eight of pinnacles. So I do see this like new job opportunity. Are you working on something creative? I definitely feel like for some of you, this work involves you being out in the public eye or some sort of public recognition or whatever this work is. It's like you have to kind of be confident in yourself, if that kind of makes sense. Like if you're getting up on a stage or you're putting yourself out there on social media to a certain degree, you have to kind of be confident in yourself and you have to be confident in what you're saying. Um, but it's like maybe you get up in your head a little bit, which kind of holds you back from taking this leap of faith or it holds you back from taking this risk. And I'm also getting like, there's this strong message of like, maybe your family doesn't support you or you feel like you don't have support um, from the people around you. And so maybe this scares you a little bit because you're also feeling like, if I take this big risk, if I invest a lot of money into something or if I start working on something and it fails, there's nothing that I can fall back on. And so maybe that's where the fear is coming from is what I'm picking up on. Let's see, what are urgent messages from the universe, from spirit? I'm also hearing the flower daffodils. Okay, perfect. Exactly what I was picking up on. Six of wands energy. Um, it, it's something where you are putting yourself out there, guys, or people are seeing you, or you're being recognized publicly, and maybe this is already happening. Maybe you've already put in a lot of work into something. Maybe it's growing. Maybe you're being recognized for it, but maybe you're having, having to get over this hurdle of like feeling that within yourself. Why is this spirit? I'm getting a lot of, for some of you, like there's like family issues here where you feel like you don't have the support of your family and it feels like this thing that you're doing. Um, what is this spirit? What is this thing? I feel like I'm hearing for some, I'm hearing for some of you, it's something you've really wanted to do your whole life, but it's like this new beginning. It almost, I'm getting, it requires you to leave behind something old or leave behind an old life so you can start this new life. But maybe it's something that you're having to do like alone. And it's, it's challenging to feel alone because you really have to be in your power. And so maybe you slip back into old thought patterns where you're feeling not good enough and um, you feel like you don't have that pick me up, like that person or maybe that best friend to like help you get out of those moods when maybe you are doubting yourself a little bit. But what I wanna say guys, nonetheless, I feel like you're going to move past this fear. Whatever this fear is around putting yourself out there, whatever this fear is around starting this new beginning, um, I think you're going to push past it because I think this is something you really wanted to do. I think you know it's going to be successful. Like with the Six of Wands, it's going to be successful. You are going to put a lot of hard work into it. And I think you have been. Um, I'm hearing you're consciously trying to create something. So Spirit's wanting to call my pile ones conscious creators. Um, which is honestly a beautiful way to describe this pile. You're consciously creating something. You're setting intentions every day because you're trying to manifest an end goal or you're trying to manifest an end result. You're, you're like advancing in your field of work. Like I'm hearing you're advancing in your field of work. I'm hearing stats. Like I'm hearing for some of you, you're looking at the stats too much. Um, like maybe you have been putting in an incredible amount of effort, but you're looking at your analytics too much. So make sure not to look too much into all of that stuff, because I feel like this is going to be one of those things where when it happens, it's just going to happen. Like I never really expected the YouTube to grow and then it just kind of happened. Um, so I'm almost wanting to say for some of you, don't look at the stats every day. Don't look at how much money is coming in every day because I feel like inevitably, um, you're going to find success within this. You just have to almost release when that success is going to show up. Like it feels like it's going to show up. It feels like you know it's going to show up. But sometimes I think maybe you get up in your head and you almost question like maybe I can't do this for a living or maybe this career isn't going to work or maybe what I'm investing in isn't going to be um, a success story like I think it is. Okay. I'm also just hearing like you guys don't give yourself enough credit. So I feel like you already have had a lot of growth. I don't know if you've had more money, like a money increase 
or I feel like you have, like, I'm not saying you've completely accomplished the goal that you want to accomplish, but it feels like to some degree you have been recognized by people. With the Queen of Wands energy, like all these little candles, um, I like heard a quote the other day. It's like, um, what, what did it say? Like a candle lighting another candle doesn't make it lose its flame. You know what I'm saying? And like, that's kind of the energy that I'm picking up on you guys. You are, you light people up, but that doesn't make you lose your spark. Like by you shining, you light other people up. So I also want to say like the main message that I'm picking up here is just like, don't give up on this dream of yours or don't give up on whatever you're investing in. And I'm not sure what it is. It could be social media for some of you. For some of you, it's just like the job you're in and you're just trying to do a good job at this job. And whether it be like a few people that you're uplifting or maybe thousands of people, um, Spirit just wants you to know that you light people up. It's like your presence makes people feel better. But sometimes I feel like maybe you don't see that within yourself or you don't recognize like how your work is doing this. Like maybe you're an artist and you don't understand how like putting your art out there is helping and healing people. For some reason with this justice card in the reverse, I'm almost getting like this energy of like you not giving yourself credit. If that makes sense. Like it's like you're not giving yourself credit. Like you've already created so much for yourself. You've already made it through so many trials and tribulations. And so there is this strong energy of spirit wanting you to just acknowledge how far you've come because they just are saying like there is more to come like you're going to create more success you're going to grow more but they also want you to recognize how you've literally came like where you've come from like because you've already kind of done the work or you've done um you've made progress is what spirit is wanting to say so what is this queen of wands energy spirit urgent messages from spirit Okay, we also have the wheel in the reverse. So what I'm getting is like, I almost want to say that you guys have acknowledged where you want to go. I feel like you've acknowledged like this direction that you want to go in. And I feel like almost your energy kind of flip flops. Like I think sometimes you're really confident in where you're going and you feel really good about yourself and you feel really good about what you're doing and you feel really good about your direction in life. Then sometimes I think there's days where you get maybe a little bit tired or you're just like, I don't know, maybe this dream won't work out. There's like this energy of flip flop and that's okay. I think the good thing spirit is wanting you to acknowledge is that even when you do have these days where maybe you're doubting yourself a little bit or you're thinking that you don't have support, um, you still push through, you push past those days and spirit is wanting to say that there are better days to come because right now I almost want to... I feel like, um, I mean, I just heard your efforts aren't being received. Like you feel like your efforts aren't being received in whatever you're doing or it's like, I feel like you want to create more. It's not that you're ungrateful for what you've created, but there's this energy of like wanting more, which I do not think is a bad thing. Spirit knows that you want more. And what I'm hearing in this reading is like, you are going to get more. Okay, um, I think you're just getting over some hurdles every now and again because this doesn't feel like a bad energy. Um, I I'm getting sometimes you just feel blocked sometimes. Like there are days when you feel really, really good about yourself, which I'm sure that's that way with everyone, honestly. I'm sure everyone could kind of resonate with this message a little bit. So what are urgent messages from Spirit? Eight of Pentacles. I, mean, I just saw the word buy. You're leaving something behind. It's like you have to leave something behind is what I'm getting. Or you have to tell certain relationships goodbye. Um, that kind of energy. I just also heard gaining momentum. I think something in your life is going to start gaining momentum. What is this justice card? Okay. So let's take a look. Okay. So this is the ultimate goal is what I'm getting. Balance. You're ready to restore balance in your life and you're also ready for that fulfillment and that happiness. And what I feel spirit wants you to know in this reading is like whatever path you're on, you're on the right path. Okay. Um, I'm also hearing some of you are like challenging the status quo. So it's like you're doing something that is out of the box, something that is making you stand out. And maybe this is where that family energy comes in of where you're challenging what your family always did. And you're kind of like in that black sheep energy where you're like standing out from other people. I can just see here that like you guys are trying to create something for yourself. You're trying to create 
um, like this financial, like you want to be financially well off um, and you want to be very successful, okay? And you just want to be able to live like a very relaxing, balanced life, but you also are in this energy of understanding that it's going to take hard work and I feel like you're putting in the work and Spirit just wants you to acknowledge that like you're putting in the work, you're on the right path, the work that you're putting in, like it's not going unnoticed because I want to say that a lot of times you feel like your efforts aren't being received or you feel feel like stagnant sometimes, but the energy I'm wanting to say is not as stagnant as you think. Although you might, I'm hearing you're like making gains, but I don't feel, I feel like sometimes you don't see this, but like behind the scenes, the energy is shifting and you are working towards this stability and you are working towards this victory and the success and this ultimate happiness. I think one of the challenges that maybe you guys faced but have been working through and I feel like you've been working through it is this feeling of like not being confident or this feeling of kind of doubting yourself but it feels like you're starting to come out of that energy. I think you guys the main message here for pile one is like acknowledging that you've actually worked on yourself and like you're not the person that you used to be or you're not as stuck as you used to be. Sometimes I think you guys Spirit is almost saying like, we have the Eight of Pentacles twice. So there's definitely being hard work. There's hard work being put in. Um, or maybe you're learning something new. But what I'm wanting to say is Spirit is almost saying like, you compare yourself to who you used to be. If that makes sense. Um, and it's like they're wanting to let you know that like you're not who you used to be. You've made a lot of growth and you've made a lot of progress in your life. But sometimes I don't think you give yourself that credit, okay? I'm hearing also some of you, you're making necessary investments, okay? I think you're, you're, you're taking a lot of risk. I don't know if this involves money. Um, investments to me could be about investing money um, into some sort of a business or it could just be investing a lot of your time. And you know, you're understanding that like you're not going to get this time back. You're investing it and you're hoping that it is going to be successful. Um, and I believe it is going, it is going to be successful. Okay. I really want to say that right now spirit just wants you to be happy with where you're at. Like they want you to just acknowledge how far you've come and they want you to just be in an energy of happiness because, and it's like they also want you to acknowledge, like, stop being so hard on yourself. It's like they want you to take a look and be like, look at all the work you've put in. It's almost like they just keep saying, like, they want you to give yourself more credit because you are on the right path and you are creating that abundance and you are creating that success for yourself. But I think sometimes you have trouble seeing that within yourself. I think you're kind of one of those people that maybe keeps pushing yourself to do more and more and more and more, which can be a good energy because it helps you become better and better. But it also can be a trap where you're never going to feel a sense of accomplishment. And so spirit in this reading I'm getting just doesn't want you to get trapped in the energy of like not feeling a sense of accomplishment. They just want to make sure that you're appreciating your talents, you're appreciating your skill, and you're appreciating the hard work that you're putting in because it's going to create something very successful. With this king of pinnacles in the reverse, I'm getting almost like... You may feel a lack of abundance right now. You may not see all of this abundance and what you're going to create, but they just want you to know that your investments are going to turn into stability. Whether that be investing time or investing money, it is going to create something more. And I think you guys really just needed to hear this message today so that you know like your efforts aren't being wasted. I feel like that's the biggest fear here is that you're gonna put in all this work and you're gonna fail or you're gonna put in a bunch of work and no one's going to notice it or you're not going to be noticed. And it's just not true. Okay. So is there any other messages? I'm going to try to see if I'm picking up on anything else. Trusting the universe. I just heard trusting the universe. And when I'm hearing trusting the universe, it's like 
you've got to try, you've done your part is basically what the universe wants to communicate to you. You've put the effort in. Now you've got to trust us. Spirit is saying like they've made a deal, like you've made a deal with the universe. Basically when you send your intention out to the universe, when you light that candle and you set that intention, or you put in this effort, you're kind of making a deal with the universe. You're making a deal with the law of attraction. And so you've done your part. You've put your efforts in. You've built up that sense of courage and maybe taken a risk or you're about to take take a risk and you're about to take this leap of faith, you just have to trust the universe on their end of the deal. Okay. We're good on our side. The universe is saying you just have to trust us because I think the main fear is failing or maybe falling and hitting your head too hard. And the universe is saying, we're going to catch you or there's going to be soft pillows. Um, even if you did fall, we're going to be here to catch you. Okay. Um, I just heard stagnancy, like I maybe, I'm almost feeling like maybe some of you feel like you're facing this stagnancy, like you're not getting that, um, what am I, like you're not that stardom, like you need a start, okay, or you need that push of energy, or you need like, um, that viral video, or just a video to kind of help you grow a little bit, um, and that scenario isn't going to resonate with everyone, but you kind of know what I'm saying. Like you say you're starting a business, you need that first couple of sales. And I feel like that's going to come in and then the rest is just kind of going to keep growing and keep happening. Okay. What is this dilemma? They just told me you're in a dilemma. You know what to do. I don't know who needs to hear this. You're in a dilemma. Like you're questioning this decision that you need to make. And I think you're thinking about it like way too much. Like, I feel like the, the example that I'm getting is like, say you're about to post a YouTube video, you're thinking way too much about the thumbnail. Say you're about to start a business, you're thinking way too much about the business cards. It's like, just go for it. Like, you have the right idea, you're on the right path, trust it, okay? Trust what you're being shown, trust what your guidance is because it's very correct, okay? Wait, hold on. I feel like I need to read these cards. I know this is a long reading, but what is what what are you trying to show me here? I'm hearing like this is difficult. What is difficult? Okay. Okay. So, the last message I want to leave you with. Spirit's just saying right now you're going to have to just be in your power without what am I going to say? Without support, maybe, is what I'm kind of getting. Um, there is this sense of maybe like you feeling like you need support or you need other people to stand behind you, but I'm not necessarily sure that you're going to have that. I almost want to say you like are calling out for support, but you feel like no one's showing up for you, which is making you not take action. And there is like this inner conflict going on where you're like not trusting yourself. But Spirit just really wants you to trust yourself, even if no one else is, like, supporting you right now. Because it almost feels like you might be alone right now. But it's like, they want you to just continue forward because it feels like the support will show up. With the Hierophant, it's almost like you're just going to have to trust your invisible support right now, if that makes sense. You're going to have to trust your spirit guides right now and the universe and stuff like that. Okay? Um... So let me guys, let me know guys if that resonated with you. Um, make sure to check out Keen. It's going to be linked down below and um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to pile number two. Hi, beautiful souls that chose pile number two, or if you chose this crystal right here, one of my faves, um, not sure how to pronounce it. I know the name, but I don't know how to pronounce it. So here's this crystal right here. Um, we're going to just be doing urgent messages from spirit. Okay. I'm excited. I love these readings because it just allows any message to come through. And I think that's just, I don't know. I just like that energy because I feel like everyone's going to get something out of it. Um, remember guys, this is a general reading. So take what resonates. Do not let the rest take from you. Um, we're just going to be seeing what you urgently need to know right now. So we're already getting some cards. Do I take these? I guess we'll take these. Okay, let's see. Can we get some channeled energy? Okay. 
I just heard some of you recently got your vaccine. I don't know why that's coming through. I think it's coming through just maybe one of you out there is going to be like, oh, I just got my vaccine. So you're going to know this is your pile. Um, Spirit, what does pile two urgently need to know? I'm hearing just trust yourself from now on. They're almost like, did you see what happened last time when you didn't trust your intuition? I think I'm hearing I'm never going to make that mistake again. I feel like in the past, there's been these scenarios where you were like, I knew it. You know, like when like you, like someone does you wrong and then after they do you wrong, you're like, I knew it. Like you should have trusted that first feeling that you got. It feels like you guys have been through a lot of those scenarios. And it's like, you're over that. You're like, nope, I'm not going to get up in my head anymore. With this Eight of Swords in the reverse, it feels like there's this strong energy of like you're moving out of your head space and more and and just being more in touch with your intuition and being more in touch with your soul and being more in touch with your body. Um, and I do feel like lately you guys have been experiencing this sense of balance in your life or maybe even this sense of like structure where you kind of feel like for the first time in forever your life is going good or your life is moving in a better direction. What I also want to say, maybe some of you are currently in a situation where you're kind of struggling, but you're going to be getting out of that. So if you've been facing like intense, extreme anxiety which is kind of leaving you stuck, you're going to be getting out of that and you're kind of going to be forging your path, okay? With the Wheel of Fortune, it feels like there's this sense of purpose within you or you're going to start feeling this sense of purpose and you're going to start feeling like you're moving in a better direction. Um, you guys are kind of in this energy where you, I feel like you've been setting very good boundaries. I'm hearing like tag along, like you are opening up this Okay, so I'm hearing like a portal of success. Like you're going through this portal, Spirit is saying, and it's like, you don't mind if people want to come with you, but you're also in this energy of like, I'm not going to drag you along. I feel like you guys are done with that. I feel like in the past, you always had to like prove yourself to people like, please be in my life or please come with me. And you almost had to like try so hard to like get people to be there for you. But now you're in this energy of like, take it or leave it. This is who I am. And I kind of feel this sense of like you guys rising into your power, feeling this sense of power where you're like, this is who I am. Take it or leave it. Like, do you want to be in my life or do you not want to be in my life? I feel like you guys are my pile who used to like face doubt within yourself and you used to always blame yourself. Like you always thought, um, you know, the bad relationships that you were in, I feel like a sense of blaming from you. Like you blamed yourself for everything that went wrong. But I feel like your guides are telling me that like, you can't be so hard on yourself. And I don't feel like you have been very hard on yourself lately. And if you have guys, it's time to start shifting that. But for most of you, I'm getting, you have started to shift that. And you're starting to see that like, you're worthy of like, everything that those people were worthy of. Okay. So let's take a look. Pile two. What does pile two need to know? What are urgent messages? I'm hearing a lunar eclipse. What is pile two's energy? Okay. Let's take a look guys. Okay. I feel like you guys have had a huge transformation with this death card within yourself. I'm also hearing the song, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Let me take a moment to tune more into this. As I said, I feel like you've gone through this huge transformation within yourself. You started to recognize your worth and I feel like I'm hearing you've like cut people off or you're learning how to like kind of turn your empathy on and off. Like I feel like with this queen of cups energy, you guys are very in touch with your emotions or you're very you know, you're very empathic. And I feel like in the past, this is kind of like made you have a difficult life because you didn't understand that you were empathic and you didn't understand that you were taking on everyone else's energy. And so I'm hearing like you've had to like separate yourself from people or you've had to kind of pull your energy back from people because maybe like other people were draining you. For some reason, I'm getting this energy of like, other people draining you pile number two and you've kind of had to redefine yourself without anyone else in your life because I feel like almost I'm wanting to say like you guys have spent like a lot of time being there for others which is like great I'm not saying that that's a bad thing like I'm getting this strong sense of like 
I feel like earlier in your life, like relationships have been very, very important to you. Like, um, and now I feel like the importance of relationships, I'm not saying that they're not important, but I feel like your focus is kind of shifting and I feel like you kind of want to focus more on yourself and you want to focus more on your career or you just want to focus more on things that are going to make you feel good and that are going to make you feel better because I feel like in the past you've taken on everyone else's burdens or you've listened to everyone else's problems, but maybe they haven't listened to your problems. And so I am getting this sense of maybe some of you have set a boundary with like certain family members or you've set a boundary with certain friends because maybe it was just too much for you to handle. I'm not saying that maybe you may still speak to them, but it really does feel like your focus has shifted from like trying to be there for everyone else and trying to understand everyone else. And your focus has kind of shifted more towards just focusing on you, focusing on your life, focusing on your own inner transformation instead of like everyone else's problems, okay? I just feel like there's just been this huge shift in like um, values because I want to say that you used to, I'm not saying that you don't still value family, but there was this big value around like being there for everyone else and you always felt like you had to like take on the burdens of other people because you were so empathic and because you felt so much for everyone else. But I feel like there's this sense of like, I have to take care of myself now. Like, are you starting to realize that like, I have to take care of myself. My life is important too. And I feel like you guys are tired of waiting on everyone else to get your life going. Or I almost want to say that some of you have just put your life on hold to try to accommodate for everyone else. And I don't know how this scenario is going to resonate with you, but that's what I'm strongly getting. Like you're tired of like being like, I'm almost wanting to say like you're tired of like being that backbone for everyone. Like, I feel like you're almost kind of the person is like, if someone needs money, they come to you. Or if someone needs that emotional st support, they come to you. But maybe you don't feel like you have that person. And I'm not, I, I'm even getting for some of you though, you've always just been very independent. Spirit is saying like, you've been a very independent kind of person. And so you never really needed anyone. And I think what you're starting to realize is that these people in your life need you more than you need them. And you're starting to understand that they're kind of draining you and they're stealing your energy, even if it isn't intentional. But I want to say that you're facing like energy drainage because I kind of want to say that like you guys keep it together for everyone else. Like when things are falling apart, who do people come to to kind of glue it back together? That's you is what I'm getting. Um, and I think you've started to like realize that, like, I'm not saying you're never going to help people again, but you're not going to give your energy to people at the expense of your emotional well being, And you're not going to give your energy to energy to people at the expense of your own happiness. I think a lot of your focus is turned inward. It feels like you're ready to focus on your life. It feels like you're ready to focus on your career because maybe you've been holding back from like learning something new or investing in something new. With this page of pinnacles, it feels like you've had like maybe a new business idea or something that you really wanted to invest in that you've been waiting a long time to do, but maybe you just never got around to doing it. I'm not sure why, um, but it feels like you're ready to create that. Look at this King of Pentacles energy. Like, I feel like you're liking yourself more lately or you're feeling more worth within yourself. And so you understand that like your energy is like special and like people that are going to be in your energy need to deserve it and they need to give back to you. Okay. Because what I'm getting is like some of these relationships that you're in guys, they almost don't like serve you. It's like you don't get anything out of it. Like they feel kind of one sided where you're putting a lot of energy in. And so maybe there is this sense of like emotional drainage or like you being, I, I'm just getting this strong sense of like you being the only one that cares or you caring more than the other person. So what is this energy for pile two spirit? Okay, I'm hearing the song Send Your Love to My New Lover by Adele. So, you know, maybe this is something about like some sort of a relationship and you're like, yeah, I, I'm getting this could be some sort of a relationship, whether this is family relationship or romantic, but with the Ten of Wands in their reverse, you're letting go of something that was draining you. The Ten of Wands 
is almost like you're taking on all the burdens and so you're releasing a certain relationship in your life where you were the one that always took on everything. You were always the one that was blamed maybe for the fights that you got in or for things falling apart, okay? And you're tired of being that person that everyone blames. You're kind of like a scapegoat for everyone else's problems. And I think you're just getting tired of that. So I just heard the name Denise. So what is like the energy here? I think what Spirit is wanting to say is like, you've just built this respect for yourself and they don't want you to feel bad about doing that, okay? You deserve to um, not deplete yourself. Like you don't have to deplete yourself to get people to like you and they just want you to know that you deserve as much love as you're giving out and you deserve as much energy from other people as you're giving them. And I think I'm wanting to say that you guys have kind of recognized this. So is there anything else for Pile 2? I'm not getting anything major going on. It feels like you guys have, like I'm getting the vision. Spirit is just showing me of like someone who has kind of separated themselves from people and can like have a sigh of relief. You can finally just like be in your own energy without everyone all over the place. Like it just feels like you guys need to be alone right now and just like you just need your space, okay? Um, that kind of a thing. So let's get you a few oracle cards. Okay. What is the energy for pile two? What is the energy for pile two? I'm not really getting anything strongly. Like, that was the main message here. And I think Spirit is kind of just wanting to say that, like clarify that like it's good that you're doing this or it's good that you're setting um boundaries okay because you're kind of almost understanding like you can't take the blame for everything and it's not always your job to fix everyone else and it's not always your job to clean everything up i want to say maybe some of you you know within your family you always felt like you had to be the perfect one and kind of clean up the messes of everyone else and you're kind of tired of being that person okay i do want to say that you are choosing a new path for yourself um you're moving in a new direction it feels like something new is kind of spawning within you and you're kind of ready to take on some new adventures or take on some new tasks and um I think the major breakthrough that happened was you just recognizing that you were worthy, that your energy was worthy, and that you deserve respect. Um, and that's kind of going to be the major breakthrough here and what you're going to create in your life because you finally saw the worth within yourself, Pile 2, which is really, really awesome. So that's what I'm getting for you, Pile 2. Pretty awesome reading. These energies feel pretty good. Even pile one felt really good. So you guys feel like you're doing better. Very proud of you guys. So um, let me know if that resonated. Make sure to subscribe. Click the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And I'm gonna go ahead and move on to pile number three. Hi beautiful souls that chose pile number three or if you chose this citrine crystal. This is a new crystal I just got, and I just freaking love the energy of this crystal. So um, maybe you can kind of feel it through the screen. It's so beautiful, guys. So um, I'm going to be seeing urgent messages from Spirit. So whatever you need to know right now is kind of the energy of this reading, and we're just going to go from there. So let's see, Spirit pile number three, please. Urgent messages for pile three. I feel like you guys are about to start studying something new or there's something about schooling here. Some of you are like um, about to go into school or you're getting, I don't know, it feels like some sort of new learning. So um, maybe that's gonna resonate for some of you. I feel like maybe you're starting to learn something new, like a new skill. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles kind of just fell out. So it feels like it could be something that kind of allows you to make money. Like a skill that you're learning that you could later use to, you know, make money. Like as a service of some sort. So, Pile 3. 
I'm also getting, for some of you, they are mentioning like your father and then the emperor wanted to fall out, but there is like a father energy that maybe you felt was not present in your life is what spirit is saying. Um, and I almost want to say the message here is like, you've always felt like you lack something maybe because you didn't have that father figure in your life. Um, or I'm seeing that like some of you who maybe never met your father are going to be reconnecting. There's something about reconnecting with your father that's coming up for pile three. Or, you know, maybe there's an energy of you feeling like you and your father don't have the best relationship. This is super specific, guys. So take it if it resonates. But um, it's almost like if you feel like your you and your father's relationship has kind of been distant, it's like, I'm, I'm wanting to say that like, you are going to kind of maybe try to work things out. Okay, so spirit pile three urgent messages. Pile three urgent messages, pile three. Okay. Um, we have the devil that fell out, guys, I think in the reverse, and then we have the king of cups. So I do feel like you guys are gaining a sense of balance or you're feeling like you're gaining a sense of peace in your life. Um, I feel like maybe some of you are trying to like kind of block out the world right now, or maybe some of you are really trying to work through like certain toxic patterns that you have, or maybe you're trying to rid your life of toxic people or just, I'm almost wanting to get, maybe some of you are just trying to get up out of your head or get up out of your ego. Maybe like the thinking has been too much. And so you're trying to meditate more. Maybe you've gone to the beach. You're just trying to focus on calming yourself down and not listening to the thoughts up in your head and just trying to tap back into, you know, your intuition. We have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. I want to say some of you are kind of putting your life on hold temporarily or spirit is saying maybe you need to. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. I'm hearing like, okay. So we got the queen of pentacles in the reverse, the king of wands in the reverse and the hermit in the reverse. Okay. I want to say that some of you may have gotten too involved in something. This could be like your work, like you, there's something imbalanced here. And so it's like spirit is basically saying you're trying to regain this balance. So you might've done too much work, not enough rest, something like that. But there's this sense of like needing to kind of tap back within yourself, tap into yourself again, because you kind of lost your spark pile three is what I'm getting. You're trying to rediscover yourself again because I'm almost wanting to say that some of you feel like you lost your spark or you lost like your passion or you lost your inspiration. Maybe there was something in your life and like at first it was super exciting and you were super passionate about it and it was like something really creative and you felt like it was really, really fun, but maybe it turned into something that like wasn't fun anymore. And so now it's like spirit is basically saying you're going back to square one so that you can kind of restart because something I'm seeing right now in your life is not like working out for you. It's like, I feel like maybe some of you invested a lot of energy into something, but it didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to, or maybe you went into something and it like just wasn't for you. And so it's almost like you're trying to, Spirit is basically showing me you were on like level nine of something. And once you got to level nine, you were like, oh my gosh, like this just isn't for me. I don't enjoy it, or you just lost that sense of passion and spirit saying you're going all the way back to level one. Like you're going back to that period of like connecting back to your intuition, connecting back to this soul searching energy. It's like you're going back to square one. You're like doing this soul searching. You're trying to rediscover what lights you up. You're trying to rediscover what you feel passionate about. You're trying to like rediscover something within yourself because with the devil card here, I'm almost wanting to say that like something became toxic in your life. It's like, it wasn't toxic, toxic at first. And this could be a job because with the queen of pentacles in the reverse, it could be like you're out of work right now. And so you're trying to like search for another job or like you got a certain degree and you thought like, yes, this is going to be my degree. But now you're like, no, because you guys feel, you don't feel lost. You just feel like you're trying to find answers. Okay. There's a difference. 
Um, because you're not, I don't feel like you feel bad about it. You're just like, wow, I don't like this anymore. Or you're almost in this period of just like, I don't know all the answers right now. You're just kind of almost admitting to yourself, like, I don't know if I know all the answers, which is fine. And you're kind of almost starting again, or you're like needing to soul search again, because it's almost like you're trying to rediscover something within yourself. I'm getting multiple different things here. For most of you, it's like you're trying to rediscover what lights you up. Um, because I think a job for some of you that you initially went into became toxic or a relationship that you initially went into became toxic. And so you're working on letting it go and trying to find something new, um, which I think is really good, guys, because you're able to recognize what isn't healthy for you or you're able to recognize what isn't good for you. Um, and the spirit is basically saying that, like, I feel like for a while you tried to force this thing to work or you tried to force this certain thing to like make you happy. But I feel like at a certain point you got tired of faking it and you're like, no, I don't like this anymore. Like whether it was a relationship, maybe you try to force yourself to like someone. Maybe you try to force yourself to be in a job that you hated. And it's like, you're not doing that anymore. You're like, nope, I need to go back to square one. I need to reconnect with my soul and I need to rediscover what lights me up. And then that's, I think that's a good energy. It's like spirit is saying you're restarting a little bit. There's a feeling of restart. Um, what is this devil energy spirit? What is this devil energy? We have the magician. Okay. With the king of cups. What do we have going on here with the king of cups? Knight of Wands. Yeah. Okay. I'm really just strong. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we have the Four of Cups. So there's something in your life right now where you feel like discontent or bored. Like this is what you're feeling like right now. Like you don't know what to do is what I'm getting. Like, where do I go next? It's that kind of energy. It's like you're trying right now in your life. Spirit is saying you're trying to figure out where you're meant to shine. Okay. You know, you see like singers and it's like they shine in that field. You see people that are like doctors and they love it and they shine in that field. It's like you're trying to find that for yourself. Spirit is basically saying they're just telling me like, okay, they're trying to find what lights them up. They're trying to find where they're meant to shine. And so I think the message that I would want to communicate to you is just like, keep trying to find that because you will find it. You always do when people soul search and they go within, you're going to figure out what you're good at. Um, don't feel like you're being left behind. You're going to figure out where you're going and you're going to figure out where you shine and you're going to figure out where you're meant to show up in the world. It's almost like I'm getting like, you're kind of trying to figure out your purpose, but at the same time, it's like, I think maybe you guys are a little bit worried about money because you're like, well, I need money to like survive and I need money to live. And so it's almost like maybe you feel bad about taking this time to soul search, but it's like, don't feel bad about it. It's like, you're going to figure out what clicks for you. Spirit's just basically saying you're going to figure out what clicks for you or what works for you or like where you're meant to go. Because I think maybe that has been a struggle for you. It's like lacking direction has maybe been a struggle. Because the scenario that I'm wanting to bring up is like, you know, like when you graduate high school and you feel like you have to instantly go to college and you have to instantly know what degree you want to get and you have to instantly know what job you want to do and it's all so fast paced. I think you guys need to slow down. Like society created this vision for our lives of like you go to school and then you do another four years of school and then you go to work. And it feels like that mold does not work for you guys. That's not going to work for you guys. You need to take a step back and you need to do your life based on what you need. It's like that mold that works for everyone else, that four years of college and like doing life by the book, it doesn't feel like that's going to work for you. You guys definitely feel like when you figure out what clicks for you, and maybe you already have um, for some of you, but when you figure that out, it's going to be something outside of the box. It's going to be something different than what everyone else does, and it's going to be very creative. But I feel like maybe this is causing a lot of stress within you guys with the Six of Swords and the Devil. I almost want to say 
the Six of Swords in the reverse, you almost feel like maybe everyone else's life is moving forward, but yours isn't. But it's like, don't like compare yourself to people that have already done the soul searching. Like you're seeing these people who are very successful in the field that they're in, but you have to understand that they had to go through this period of soul searching too. So it's like, don't compare the beginning of your journey to the middle of someone else's journey. Don't compare the beginning of your journey to the ending of someone else's journey, if that makes sense. That's what Spirit is trying to say is like, you're going to be on the path that you're on. Stop comparing your path is the message that is coming up here. So, let's see. Is there anything else, Spirit, for Pile 3 and what they need to know? Yeah, exactly what I'm getting. There is confusion around... What I'm getting with this Two of Cups energy, it could be relationship, like maybe you're confused, like you're seeing everyone else, you know, get married, dating, and maybe you just don't know how that's going to work out for you. That could be one thing. For others of you, this Two of Cups gives me a sense of like connection, connecting with purpose, reconnecting with yourself, because with the Hermit in the reverse, there's a sense of you not knowing who you are, you being in the dark about who you are, you being confused about who you are, or you being confused about the next best move or the next best thing for you. Because with the Six of Wands in the reverse, it's not that you feel like a failure, it's that you don't know where your victory is. That's a good thing that Spirit just brought through. It's not that you feel failure, you just don't know where your victory is. You're not failing, you just don't know where you're meant to succeed. And so I would take some time to just figure that out, okay? Um, that's what I'm getting. I think sometimes this causes maybe a little bit of fear of like, you know, like I need to be doing things quicker or I need to figure out things quicker or everyone else is figuring it out. So I need to figure it out. And it's like an energy of just like you do you like take as much time as you need, not what everyone else's needs. Okay. Look at that. Get ready for new horizons. You're going to get an idea or you're going to some, you're going to get the epiphany because you're doing the work. If you're meditating and you're asking your spirit guides to bring you answers, it's going to come to you. It's going to come to you. Okay, wow. Clear the past, heal the present. I really feel like you guys are just working on healing, working on reconnecting with yourself. Um, blessings um, came out in the reverse. So there are blessings that are going to show up. You just have to figure out where they're going to show up, if that makes sense. Like the best example I can give is like, I knew I wanted to do YouTube, but I always felt lost in terms of like what that was going to look like. Like I didn't know I was going to be like a psychic and then I like figured it out and then it clicked and I went with it. That's what kind of feels like is going to happen. You guys are going to figure it out. Even if you don't know it right now, you're going to figure out what your purpose is and you're going to figure out where you're meant to show up. And then after that, you're going to have tons of blessings because you're going to be really, really good at it. But just take the time to figure it out. Like if you don't like something, don't try to force yourself to like it. And Spirit is just saying also there's another message of just try new things. Try new things. And I also feel like in your love life, you guys are the kind of person that sometimes feels like you need to have a commitment or you need to get married or you feel like society pushes that on you. I feel like this is a lot of like society creating these limitations within you. It's like you feel like society needs you to be this. And Spirit is saying all they need you to be is yourself. And if that takes some time and some patience, then take as much time as you need. Okay. So let me know if that resonated pile three. Um, that was a powerful message. I feel like, because it was just a sense of like, you're going to figure it out. Okay. I'm also hearing a bone marrow transplant. Like, I don't know why I'm hearing that. I feel like somebody's going to connect with that message, but I'm not sure how it's going to connect. Is there anything else? I just heard ugly. Like some of you maybe have struggled with feeling like you were ugly or comparing yourself to other people. I'm almost getting for some of you also, you kind of sabotage yourself. Like you put limitations on yourself as well. Like you, you need to prove to yourself that you're good enough is what I'm hearing. Are you like, you're very hard on yourself in terms of like where you're at and where everyone else is at. Like stop comparing yourself. I 
I'm also hearing dental work. Like some of you are getting dental work done um, or you're going to be a dentist, okay? Okay, a lot of inner conflict about what's next, okay? These three cards just tell me a lot of inner conflict about what's next. But what, what can you say to them, Spirit? How can they get through this? They're just basically saying, even though it may look like you're never going to get out of this confusion, you will. And that's literally all Spirit can let you know is like, you will get out of it. You just have to trust. Okay, pile three. So let me know if that resonated. And I am going to go ahead and move on to pile number four. Hi, beautiful souls that chose pile four. If you chose the Celestite Crystal, welcome in. This is your reading on, you know, what Spirit wants to say to you. We're just going to be getting urgent messages. So I'm just calling in the energy of pile four, Spirit. What does pile four urgently need to know? I'm just going to take a moment here to meditate on your energy. Pile four. Pile four. I just heard alchemy, like you're trying to create alchemy in your life. Let's see. The high priestess. Okay. I feel like lately you guys have really been trying to connect to your intuition. I feel like lately you've been trying to surrender to spirit. You've been trying to listen to spirit. You've been trying to take like inspired action is what I'm getting. Inspired action to me is just like listening to your intuition and then acting upon your intuition. I feel like you guys are working on like, it's like you ask spirit for this guidance, and I feel like you're working on trusting the guidance that you receive. Because oftentimes, we're asking spirit for signs, we're asking spirit for symbols, we're asking spirit for certain things, but when we see the sign, we don't trust it. And I feel like with this energy, you're working on trusting it more. You're working on trusting the symbols from the universe, the signs from the universe, and ultimately just trusting, like, that things are going to get better. With this Five of Pentacles in the reverse, I feel like there has been something that has been challenging you. Um, but it's almost like you guys have so much trust within your intuition. This is kind of basically what Spirit is saying is like, there's something challenging in front of your face, but it's you're working on not responding to the current situation because you're understanding that your thoughts create your reality. And if you keep responding to the current bad situation with your same thoughts, you're gonna create your same reality. So you're trying to almost change the storyline in your head. You're trying to listen to your gut more. You're trying to listen to your intuition more. And you're trying to trust that things will get better. And you're trying to change your thought process. And instead of seeing like, the Five of Pentacles, for example, this is an energy of being alone, or this is an energy of not being financially abundant. But instead of like seeing that, you're pre you're like almost faking it till you make it. You're trying to block that out. Like even if you aren't where you want to be financially, you're trying to like shift the narrative. Like I feel like you guys are doing a good job at trying to like shift the narrative. And instead of like being in this energy of like, I'm not financially abundant, I don't have enough money, or I don't have enough love, you're trying to like change your thoughts and be like, I am abundant. Because you're understanding that your thoughts create your reality. And if you keep having, you know, the negative thoughts of being the victim, you un you're starting to understand that if I think like the victim, I'm always going to be the victim. And if I act like the universe is working against me, it will always work against me. And so you're trying to kind of use the power of the universe to kind of manifest what you want is what I'm kind of getting here. And I feel like in turn, this shift in perspective has kind of allowed you to start creating things in your life, or it's going to start allow you, it's going to start allowing you to do things that maybe you never thought you were going to be able to do. Okay, look at that judgment and high priestess. There's a major energy of you surrendering. And I feel like this is present moment. Like, I do feel like you're actively surrendering. Um, or if this, if this is the message now to start surrendering to spirit and to start trusting the guidance and to start trusting your path, okay, is what I'm getting. With this page of pinnacles, there could be like a, something that you're learning, like a new thing that you're starting to learn. Um, this is what spirit just said. Thank you, spirit, for clarifying that. They're saying like, 
life isn't gonna wait on you. Like, if you wanna be in this sad, soppy energy of just like, I'm alone, I don't have anything, I'm sad, then you're gonna be in that energy forever and life is gonna move on. It's like, that's what you're realizing is like, life is gonna move on with or without me, so I might as well move along with life. And I might as well try to get a better life and I might as well try to get a more positive attitude and I might as well start shifting my perspective because you're recognizing that like, if you stay in the energy of that victim state of consciousness, you're going to stay there forever. And so I do want to say congrats to Pile 4 for being able to shift out of this and shift your perception because I do feel like you're going through some hard shit. And I do feel like you are going through challenging situations, but you're trying not to respond to them if that makes sense like for example maybe you don't have enough money you're trying though not to think about it you're trying to shift your mindset and start saying i do have enough money okay and i know that that can be very challenging because sometimes it's easier to be a victim to what's going on in our life sometimes it's easier to just give up but i really get this strong energy of you haven't given up you really just surrendered okay um, I do want to say that you guys are tired. You're tired of like whatever's going on. It feels like it's very heavy. It feels like there's a lot going on. Yeah, five of swords. Okay, um, here's what I'm getting here. Um, I'm kind of going to finish this spread. This is a beautiful energy. Page of Pentacles, spirit. Page of Pentacles. Okay, judgment. Whoa. Okay, a lot of energy just flew out. Um, okay. So, let's take a look at what's going on here. I honestly want to say with the strength card in the Hierophant, you're just trying to have faith. Like, do you see this person in the judgment card? This just, to me, is like surrender. Like, you're just trying to have faith. It's like, you give up. You're tired of controlling. You're tired of listening to your head. You're tired tired of listening to the bad thoughts. You're almost in this energy of like, spirit, what do you need me to do? Show me what I need to do. And you're, you're shifting into this vibration of having just complete faith. The Hierophant. You are just going to start having complete faith within yourself and within your spirit guides. Because guys, I see a lot of difficult situations going on. I see a lot of conflict going on in your life. For some of you, I see some money trouble going on for some of you. I see a feeling of like you can't get enough rest. I feel like some of you are just really, really tired. And I just see things like some things in your life just feel like they're not working in your favor or some things in your life just seem like the, the universe is working against you. Um, but you're trying not to see it that way. And so you're trying to shift your perception. You're trying to see the world in a more positive way. Instead of looking at things as just being bad, you're looking at them as a way that you can learn and as a way that you can make progress in your life. Because you're starting to realize that you can either take these trials and tribulations as a way to grow or you can just let them hurt you and just be in this victim state of mind forever okay um and i feel like what spirit is saying is in turn with you having this much faith in the universe and with you having this much faith in yourself and this much faith within your spirit guides and just trusting that you shifting your mindset is going to shift you out of these situations um, it's going to happen for you, okay? Things are going to start getting better. You're going to start noticing, like your energy is going to start feeling better. Things are just going to start getting better and you're going to start feeling like you're getting your life back on track and you're going to start feeling like you're gaining this sense of direction because maybe you've been lost for some time. Um, but what I kind of see here for pile four is like you gaining that, yeah, four of cups, I, I, you guys are doing so well at not getting in a bad mood and maybe sometimes you slip into these bad moods or these negative energies, but there's some hard shit going on right now in your life and I don't know what that is, but I feel like it's going to shift for you because you have so much faith in that and you've gotten into this energy of just surrendering. Okay, that's the main message that I'm seeing here. Um, I'll shuffle some more tarot to see if anything else wants to come through. I think a lot of people in your life maybe have betrayed you. 
or they wanted to see you fail, but I'm hearing like who's laughing now. Like there is going to be this, the tables will turn pile four is what I'm saying because I feel like, you know, people like, what are, you will rise again. I don't know who needs to hear that, but you're going to rise again. You're going to rise above whoever this is that has betrayed you. And the, the roles will reverse. You're going to get out of this period of hardship and you're going to rise up and you're going to have the better life that you truly deserve. And I think you really need to hear that right now, Pile 4. I want to say for some of you, this could be like um, relationship issues where someone cheated on you. Also picking up on that energy as well. I want to say just keep moving forward. I think things are going to get better every day, Pile um, 4. Some of you are also maybe feeling like, did I do something wrong? Like, you're almost kind of in this energy of like, what did I do to deserve this? You know, you're really just trying to keep it together with the Two of Pentacles. You're trying to really just balance everything out. You know, maybe you're trying to juggle something in terms of career. You're having to just be in that boss bitch energy to keep things together right now in your life. It's an energy of fake it till you make it. You're really just trying to fake it till you make it. We also have the ego the devil energy. There could be some toxicity in your life. You know, it's kind of what I'm picking up on. Seven of Swords, some betrayal, some toxic energy is coming up here. Um, you know, we could go on for days about the different scenarios, but I feel like ultimately what I see going down here, let me get a few more cards and then I'll interpret this energy. Okay. Okay. I see what is going to kind of eventually happen is wherever you have felt like you've been broken or whatever in your life has seemed like it has fallen apart, Spirit is just basically showing that all of it's going to come back together. And I feel like a lot of this fell apart because of certain people from your past who betrayed you. And I feel like you've had to set boundaries with these people, but slowly and surely you're regaining your confidence, you're regaining your strength, you're regaining everything that you felt that you've lost, and I just saw a B. So either you connect with the B personally, or the B just represents success and feeling happy and good again. Um, even though you might not feel like that right now, you're kind of doing this energy of faking it till you make it. You're understanding the law of attraction and you're understanding that what you think attracts your reality. So I feel like you're just trying to think more positive thoughts. So let's see. Can we get some Oracle energy spirit? I feel like you guys haven't had a break in so long. It just feels like you guys haven't had a break. Um, it's like almost like you just are like, cut me some slack. Like you haven't had that moment where you've just been cut some slack. Like it's just been hardship after hardship for you. Transformation, a fresh new way of living emerges. I love that. Things are going to shift for you guys. Things are going to transform. Okay. The Phoenix rising from the ashes. There's that energy because look, all is possible choosing your path. But I want to say guys... This is all showing up for you. Look, infinite abundance. Something that maybe you felt like you haven't created in a while. But this is all showing up for you because you finally let your guard down. You finally let go of control and you finally just surrendered. Okay, so I would be really, really proud of yourself, Pile 4. Um, I think that's it, guys. These were kind of more quick, short messages today. Um, I don't think there's anything else major coming through. I will ask Spirit one more time. You guys know me. I just want to make sure I bring through every message that you need to hear. Let's see. Is there anything else for pile number four? Infinite. Your possibilities are inf infinite because it's almost like I said this a little while ago in a manifestation video. Whatever your imagination can create is what is possible. And that's what you guys are realizing is like whatever you think comes true. And so think the best world into being like think whatever you want. 
Like think that you have a good relationship and it will come to you. Think that you have a new career opportunity and it will show up, okay? It's like whatever you think is going to happen. You guys have this very powerful manifestation energy. So let me know pile four if that resonated. Make sure to subscribe. Click the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And um, make sure to check out Keen, guys. It's going to be linked down below. And um, I will see all of you beautiful souls on the next one. Bye, guys.